And now, reading your comments with Mr. Neo. You look like Nico Bellic. I never played Grand Theft Auto 4, so I'm going to take that as a compliment. Grade A under A much? Well, duh, have you seen his chin? Anti-bronies are anti-brony because they are jealous of other people's liking of MLP? Fantastic. Well, that's one interpretation out of it. It's like, one way to look at it is anti-bronies are anti-bronies because they can't be bronies. One way to look at it is they don't want to be bronies, which is fine, but the fact that they're anti-bronies means that they're following an equally dumb trend. Just as emo is a culture and a phase, so is being a brony or being a hater, so... I feel like this whole thing is just gonna die down to, like, a niche kind of thing that no one can worry about. Which, judging by the comments I got on the Angie Burnings videos, that happened already. Yay, you watched Total Drama. Of course I did. And I'll try to if I ever find it again. There will be a new season. What are your thoughts about a new season with old characters? Only if they don't do what the previous seasons did and unnecessarily censor the dialogue for the American audience. I mean, like, the Canadian version had, like, mild language to the point that it doesn't reach PG-13, but, like, it, like, it kind of, like, reaches the boundaries of PG. And that was awesome, but... In the American dub that we got, it was like G trying to reach the boundaries of PG. Some of the jokes were broken. Arts and Craft Center, more like Arts and Crap Center, became Arts and Junk Center. Sucks. The Beaver, national symbol and a damn fine hat. Good joke. National symbol and a real fine hat makes no sense. There are some things I will agree with changing, like changing skanky basement closet to tacky basement closet. But there's like so many things that shouldn't have been censored. I mean, I can understand the boobs being censored, but th there's like other things I don't understand. Like, why they censor the word crap? I mean, sure, in the UK it's seen as like a mild swear among kids, but here it's nothing. Like, it means what it's supposed to mean, but it literally has no effect. And I've also noticed that the later seasons have been intentionally made kid-friendly, and I've found no differences between the Canadian and American broadcasts. But they're about as dumbed down and stupefied as the American broadcast would be. So as long as they don't screw up in any of those departments, I'm okay. Favorite game show? Oh my f god, where do I start? Um... On kids shows, I like Double Dare, Figure It Out, um, Get the Picture, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Adult shows, I like Wheel of Fortune, Press Your Luck. I'll occasionally watch Jeopardy if I want to learn something. I don't know, I love a lot of game shows. Show me a game show and I'll give you like my best opinion of it, but not here. I can't speak in general. Which of the 50 Improbables reactions is your favorite? Um... It would have to be either one of the Spinge Bills, or the Caillou one, or the JonTron one. But I think by a slim margin, it might be the Yu-Gi-Oh ones. Favorite Wizard of Oz character? It's gotta be the Cowardly Lion, definitely. Favorite Pokemon? From Soul Silver, Typhlosion. And from, in general, Obviously Pikachu, because that's like everyone's favorite. Favorite episodes of Gumball, Steven Universe, regular show, and Adventure Time. My favorite episode of Gumball would be the one where they play Dodger Dare. Or the one where they're battling the Jealousy Spirit. Both of those were equally exciting, entertaining, and awesome. My favorite episode of Steven Universe would have to be the first appearance of Stevani. Like, Steven and Connie do the fusion dance and become Stevani, and it's like... Like, Garnet's really excited, and they take on new challenges together and stuff. Favorite episode of regular show. Does 2 in the AM PM count? Probably not. Hmm. Trying to think here. Uh... I guess I don't have a favorite. I love them all equally. Favorite episode of Adventure Time. The very first Card Wars episode, I will watch 
all the other Car Wars episodes, when and if they make them. And I'm pretty sure I missed one, but as soon as I can find it again, I'll watch it. Do you like... Can you please mow someone else's lawn that people are trying to film? Do you like country music? It's very helpful when I need to de-stress and the only thing in the room with me is the radio. So yes, I kind of like country music. What do you like about Steven Universe? I like how they tackle the mature subjects head on as opposed to either trying to find weird workarounds or just straight up avoiding them. Hell, if it wasn't for the internet, I wouldn't have found out that Ruby and Sapphire, the two gems that fused to make up Garnet, were actually a lesbian couple. And that's pretty awesome to think about. Like, lesbians in a Cartoon Network cartoon. Gets me all giddy inside. Are you still a brony? Eh. Like, um, after seeing Tracon and enjoying my time there, and Chris wanting to get ready for the next one, and me just straight up not being able to have time to watch the show because I'm making these videos or going to certain appointments or meetings I'm scheduled to go to and stuff like that. Um, I haven't been able to watch it, and just everyone there assumes I watched the latest episodes, but. While they were nice and helping me in the right direction, I can just tell some of them were giving me the stink out like I'm some kind of moron. So, I don't really know. I, I'll still watch episodes when I'm in a pony mood. I still read fan fiction. I still watch your guys' videos on YouTube. Shout out to Zerottle Thing again. It's like a balanced scale, the Brony fandom. You have your good stuff, you have your bad stuff. And all in all, I'm okay with it. What will you be doing for Yugi Month? Well, I have some structure decks that I want to open, take a look at, and try out. Um, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro stuff I want to do. Maybe I'll react to some Yu-Gi-Oh! based YouTube poops, like the you Improbables know, used to do. Let's uh, see what happens, because I can pretty much do whatever I want. I farted. Nice. Have your videos gotten louder lately, or is it just me? It's the camcorder. It uses a stereo mic instead of a mono mic that my computer uses with the Rock Band mic. I have it purpose. I had that one purposely set to mono because, like, I seem to get better audio out of mono than I do in stereo. But this does stereo quite well. Comment, reply. Will you ever dye your hair? I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers go through this phase where they dye all or part of their hair their favorite color. And um, I kind of wanted to be like that because I wanted to be edgy and hip and awesome like them. But then I realized my favorite color is orange. If someone can get back to me with a good way to dye my hair orange and look badass doing it, then maybe we'll give something a shot. Why did you skip my comment? Because I'm saving your comment for hypocrites. Wait a minute. This isn't the Improbables. For the last time, it's Neo. Neo Improbables. The real improbables are over at youtube.com slash jodan54dx. Duh! Will you be going to Tricon next year? It ultimately depends. Like, the new guy was really well behaved during the trip, but at the end he was all grump ass, and we can't really trust him with out of state travel, but we're gonna see what we can do, cause like, the whole thing takes a ton of money, and we know now that we need more money then we brought that time, so we kind of don't know. Have you ever considered going to an anime convention? If I ever get to catch up on the latest anime, sure. So maybe once I sign up for Crunchyroll Premium and like watch all the anime that everyone's recommending, I will probably look over to an anime convention because my entire life, I only watched some episodes of Dragon Ball Z, some episodes of Pokemon, and a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So, I might need to do some catching up. I saw a Cards Against Humanity box in the background of your previous video. Will you ever do a Cards Against Humanity video? Maybe. What did you buy at Tricon? Um, I bought a hat with Rainbow Dash's cutie mark on it, a hat with Luna's cutie mark on it, I bought I, I bought a card game called Twilight Sparkle Secret Ship Fic Folder. I'll probably demonstrate that in another video. I bought some prints, which I lost. And that's pretty much it. Um, 
My friend, the new guy, bought me a custom engraved fidget spinner with Rainbow Dash's cutie mark on it. And my friend Chris brought, bought me a bought me a comic book that he got signed by the colorist. And uh, he also got me some prints to replace the ones I lost. They weren't the exact prints, but eh, it's Luna. I love it anyway. But outside of TriCon, I bought three structure decks for Yu-Gi-Oh. I bought the Cards Against Humanity game somewhere in Ann Arbor. And at one gas station, I bought a glow-in-the-dark fidget spinner. What, did you think I was going to take the Rainbow Dash one out of its box? It's special to me. No, thank you. Also, I'm not going to demonstrate how this one glows in the dark because it's currently daylight as I'm filming this. Sorry. What happened to the Don't Wake Your Parents challenge? I want to do more of those, but lately I haven't... Lately, with all the things that have been happening, recurring from TrackCon, making more videos with this camcorder, and trying to catch up with all the YouTube comments, I haven't really had time to do another rock band Don't Wake Your Parents challenge, but I'll probably do one sometime in September or October after I finish with Yugi Month. And that about does it for this reading your comments, Neo comments video. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but like I said, I want to spread these out as much as possible so that they're a special thing when they do happen. And I know I added some fake questions as to this one as well, but that's because, like, I'm not very popular, which I'm okay with. Like, I'd rather be... I'd rather be liked by a few people than, eh, by a million. So thank you for watching Neo Comments. I am M Page, and wait a minute. August is coming up. You know what that means. Yogi!